One of the key functions of iodine, this is often one of the most overlooked issues in medicine today, is thyroid hormone. So if you can imagine your thyroid gland, which sits in your neck, um, it receives a message from your pituitary gland through a chemical called TSH. TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. Now, if you've ever been to a doctor to have your levels checked, oftentimes when you've been told you have hypothyroidism, what they're checking is your TSH, right? So this is common test. This is a test the doctor will commonly run to check whether or not you have high or low thyroid. Now, it's unfortunate because so many doctors run TSH and this is the, the entirety of their investigation, meaning they don't check often. That's not, I say all doctors do this, but it's just my experience. Many doctors, they only check and monitor TSH, but they fail to check T4 and T3 and something called reverse T3. And they fail to check the vitamins and the minerals that are necessary to make TSH and to make thyroid hormone, T4 and T3. So again, T4 is also a test that should be getting measured. T3 is a test that should be getting measured. So if you've been told you had a hypo or hyperthyroidism, these are the things that your doctor absolutely hands down should be measuring every time. But most doctors only measure this. And so it's looking at part of a puzzle. Imagine you've got 50 puzzle pieces and you have one piece that you're looking at. It's not a very comprehensive way to go about evaluating somebody. But what I want you to understand is that T4, the four is iodine. That's what it is. And so it means that that T4 has four molecules if you will, of iodine attached to it. The T, this is, the T is tyrosine. So it's basically, tyrosine is an amino acid. So four molecules of iodine plus tyrosine equals T4. And that's why it's so important to understand your nutrition. Because if you don't know whether or not you have a tyrosine deficiency and you don't know whether or not you have an iodine deficiency, you, you never really know why your T4 is low um, and, and that's, that's a mistake, right? If, you, if your doctor doesn't know why, then taking medicine doesn't necessarily resolve why. It just gives you an artificial synthetic chemical to supplant what your body should naturally be able to make. So you know, when we think about iodine, this, why is it so important to think about this? Because iodine, you can't make T4 without it. And T4 has to be converted to T3, which you can see down here, T, this, most of this occurs in muscle and liver tissue. So T4 is converted into T3. And T3 is what's required, you know, it's the active form, if you will, it's active thyroid hormone, whereas T4 is inactive. And so it's required to increase metabolic function, right? And this is why, why is this important? You can't heal, you can't repair tissue if you don't have adequate thyroid hormone. And this is why, we'll get into this in just a minute, the symptoms of low thyroid are oftentimes, they cross over with the symptoms of low iodine. So if you've been told you have hypothyroidism, but you've never had your iodine levels checked, you've never had your tyrosine levels checked, you've never had your zinc, you've never had your B2, your vitamin C, your vitamin A, your vitamin D, your omega-3 fatty acid levels checked. It's important that you understand you really haven't had your thyroid checked. You've had one chemical, maybe three chemicals checked, but no nuance as to how your body is capable of producing those chemicals with the right vitamins and minerals. And so iodine plays the major role here. And if you can't get to healing and you can't get to repairing, you're dead in the water. So. It's one of iodine's major functions. Hey, don't forget to check out the rest of the series right here. Make sure you hit subscribe below. And as always, thanks for tuning in.